Howdy. I'm Jeremy Lipsy, and I'm here at Exotic Eye Tattoo in Maui with Rachel G. I'm from Exotic Eye Tattoo. We have one here in Maui and also in Homer, Alaska. Next door, I also have Body Alive Yoga, and I like to share the knowledge of how to keep us a little bit more flexible in our work life so that we can stay happy people and creative people. Yeah. Um, the spine is pretty much the answer to that. And today we're going to work on the spine. So find yourself either at a seat or leaning against a table, whatever feels more comfortable for you. And see if you can keep the space in between your feet about hip distance apart. Good. And really begin to feel your alignment here. Often a lot of us don't even know what it feels like to feel your spine. So see if you can allow the weight to be in the back of the sit bones and then get a little bit taller with your ribs. I feel aligned. Good. See if you can pull your belly button into your spine. Yeah, there's your alignment. Good. And then connect with the breath. So allow the arms to float up overhead as you take a big inhale. And then exhale, bring the hands back down to the chest. Good. Inhale through the nostrils. Keep the mouth closed. Allow the arms to float up overhead. Exhale, bring the hands back down to the chest. And this time, see if you can bring your eyes into it. Release the strain off the eyes. Inhale, allow your eyes to follow, your breath to follow the hands. Good. And then exhale, release the hands down onto the thighs and begin to curl the spine. Pull the belly button into the back. Reach the fingertips towards your knees. And with the next inhale, open the chest. Bring the elbows into the ribs. Really reach your chest forward. I know it seems ridiculous, but it's good for you. Exhale, reach the fingertips towards the knees and pull the belly button into the spine. Good. Inhale, hug the elbows into the ribs and see if you can find a little C curve in the lower back, reaching your chest forward. And then exhale, reaching the fingertips forward, drop the head. And one more time, see if you can breathe into your throat. Inhale, lift the chest, open up through the throat so you can communicate with your customers a little easier. And then exhale. <clears throat> And come back to normal neutral spine here. Press into the heels. Inhale, allow the arms to float up overhead. And allow the right hand to hold on to the left wrist and see if you can elongate through the left arm as you lean over to the right side. Then notice that you might want to begin to fly off onto the right side of your seat, but see if you can sink down into the left side as you bring the right shoulder forward. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, make your left arm even longer. Reach over to the right side, find the C curve in the side of the body. Press into both heels firmly as you inhale, come back up to seated. Hold on to the left wrist, elongate the right arm, and then lean them over to the left side. See if you can move your arms behind the ears as much as possible. And if it feels good on the neck, you could turn the gaze up, or if it's a little too much strain, turn the gaze down. So keeping your legs nice and strong, almost like you're trying to hold a ball in between your knees. So they're not quite touching, but they're active. Good. And then inhale, come all the way back up to center. And then exhale, open the arms out to the T position. Good. And some of us might have small studios, so you might have to angle yourself. Keep space for everybody. Rotate the palms all the way up and see if you can get a little bit taller. Rotate the thumbs to the back of the room. And create a little space in the front of your chest. And feeling that all the way through the elbows. Make the arms a little bit longer. Awesome. And then inhale, allow the arms to float all the way up. Exhale, roll forward. And press into the heels and come up to standing. Lean forward. Good. Press into the thighs. Inhale, lift the chest. Good. And then exhale, fold. And everybody step the right foot into the left, bring the feet together. Make your legs super, super long. Press into the heels, inhale, lengthen all the way up. And then exhale, fold. And everybody's a little bit different. You can keep your hands on your thighs, <laughs> shins, or your toes. Inhale, make your legs super long, press into the heels, lift the gaze. Fold up the hips and bring the belly button, the chest. And then your chin all the way down. And see if you can look at your shins, look at your knees. And drop the forehead. Finding that forward bend. Hold here. Don't worry about touching the ground. More about making your legs really long. Getting the back of your thighs long will help release that tension on your spine. 
Lean forward so your hips are right over your ankles. Awesome. Hold here. And then from here, bend the knees and slowly unravel the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Stacking the hips over the knees, stacking the shoulders over the hips, allow the arms to float up. <coughs> Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. And then for one last movement here, we're going to use our furniture. So you can use a roller chair, armrest, table, whatever you might have, about hip height. And bring it about three to four feet in front of you. And you guys still have your feet right under your knees, knees right under your hips. Allow the arms to float all the way up. And some of you might have heard this terminology, the downward dog, exhale, fold forward. So we're just going to go into a supported downward dog. Make the arms really long, so walk your furniture out if you need to. Press into your palms, and then immediately your legs want to lock out. But see if you can engage the muscles above your knees. Press into the heels. Inhale, look forward. Get a little bit longer. And then exhale, fold in half. Allow the head to hang. Shake it out, yes, and now press into the hands. Engage the muscles around the knees, around the elbows. And how's that feel, Jeremy? Feels great. Awesome. And how? And we'll lift it all the way up. Use the breath always to govern the movement. And then exhale. Use the breath to let go of tension in your body. Not also in the body, but also in your mind. And you might even hear, feel or hear a little snap, crackle, pop. Move slowly with control. Inhale. One more time. Lift it all the way up. Exhale, fold and release. And bend the knees. Allow the arms to hang. And then slowly rise all the body all the way up, stacking each vertebra. Creating space within your spine. Bring the feet together, hands together, lift the gaze. Exhale, release the arms alongside the body. Just take one extra breath here, rolling the shoulders back and down. Feeling the space within the chest, space within the hips, and then feeling the difference that you just created, not only in the body, but also in the mind. Your spine will keep you happy, a happy spine makes a happy mind, and then that way we could just keep on creating, and that's our tidbit for today. Yes. I'm ready to tattoo for 20 hours straight after that stretch sesh. <laughs> Good luck. You can find us on exoticguidetattoo.com or bodyaliveyoga.com. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for more. Aloha. Aloha.